and the peel has lost control, and he's gone. We're up to third. Welcome to the Elgato race number two. After the first race, which was a massive success, some uh, success more, more for some people than others. Anyways, if you missed race number one, I will link to that one down below. This is race number two. Two. The Elgato Championship is the series where you guys can win incredible prizes. As I've said before, the winner of this race moves on to race number seven. In race number seven, people are going to be going up for prizes like this thing. An Elgato 4K60 Pro. If you want to record your gameplay in the best quality possible, this is what you gotta use. As well as a signed Xbox One X by the Playground Games developers there are some fabulous prizes even though if you don't come first you can win things like uh the elgato hd 60 green screens i believe as well are in there stream deck i think's in there as well a bunch of really cool and great elgato prizes anyway you guys might be wondering where this race is taking place today and once again i've gone in and i've built a custom racetrack for us and this is where it's gonna be i'm gonna give you a look at the racetrack then i'm gonna tell you what cars we're driving around in and then we're gonna give it a go before we actually get into the racing stuff if you want to sign up for race three race three signups are open now there's a link down below if you want to participate and uh yeah it should be really cool and you can have a chance to win some incredible prizes a 10 mile circuit ripping it through the streets of edinburgh taking twists and turns going back on itself filled with high speed low speed and very sharp hairpin corners as well there is also a tiny tiny part of off-roading all the way at the end of this racetrack i built this race course and in my testing of it even i missed a checkpoint it will catch you off guard you might be wondering what cars we're driving today well last week I used the Dodge Daytona, which some people uh, might have thought that that was a hint at possibly doing movie cars, and that's not exactly true. The Dodge Daytona back in Forza Horizon 3 was a barn find. That was your hint for what was coming up next. Today, we are finding the fastest barn find car in Forza Horizon 4. You will see S1 down in the bottom left. Your class has to be 833 exactly. There is no 832, no 831, 833 exactly. So Twitch chat, we did it last time. I'm gonna let Twitch decide on my car. I really, I don't know what I'm gonna take. We've got some really, really good options. We've got the GT40. We've got the XJ220. We've, we've got a PLP50 if you're very brave oh my god so many people are saying take the gt40 i'm also ignoring every single one of you who says to take the plp50 all right everybody's saying take the gt40 let's do it i gotta downgrade it mine's a little too quick so the thing with this course is there's some very very tight slow speed corners like those hairpins but there's some also some high speed corners so you sort of got to find a balance between the two we're also ripping it through the streets of edinburgh so you probably want quite a bit of grip i'm thinking right away going all-wheel drive like it doesn't change our class that much but look at that acceleration and that launch all-wheel drive also helped me a hell of a lot last race so i'm thinking thinking we got to do it again there are so many people in twitch chat who are cheering for appeal i mean i could upgrade the tires as well but if I want to go all the way up to race tires, it increases my PI so high, I'm not going to be able to get any other sort of additions to the car. I, I think I got to upgrade the tires a little bit. Sport tires seems like a good place to be, honestly. Oh, what? Look at this. Getting thicker tires onto the car actually technically in terms of the game makes us worse. So that is perfect. Put a Forza wing on it. I think we got to put the Forza wing on it. No way. That brings our class limit down as well. We might have built a very good... Oh, okay. Maybe no front splitter. Let's get some normal, like, transmission and drivetrain stuff. This will allow us to tune our car and help our other stuff when we're when we're fixing our car up. We'll get some better brakes as well. Brakes are always important, plus 8% efficiency. Very nice. We're going to be able to go around these corners so damn quick. It's not even funny. Oh, look at that. 
if we get a supercharger on it, it drops us perfectly on to 833. It gives us an extra 63 horsepower, takes us up to 450. I think, uh, I think we might have found our car here, boys. I'm gonna stick with that for my car. Everybody seems to think it's a pretty good build. 2,100 pounds, it's hella light. 450 horsepower. That's quick. Let's give it a little bit more downforce. The scary thing when you're making one of these cars is you don't get to test it. You gotta build it. You gotta have confidence in your build that it can do what you want it to. So I hope with that amount of downforce, that amount of grip, that this thing is quick enough. All right. I like this thing. Oh, we got... Oh, fire. Our AR-12 staffer has decided to take a PLP-50 and be a little brave. Ooh, I'm liking the 22Bs. Interesting, and there's an escort back there. Nice choices, and there's another GT40. AMR Blackout. This is apparently our fan favorite for today. Also repping a GT40 in the classic paint job. Looking good. We got a Lotus as well. I love that. Let me go start up the race. And we're gonna cross fingers that this goes well, boys. Apparently, we've got a new fan favorite. Everybody in chat just wants the PLP 50 to win. All right, we're gonna be racing in the middle of summer. It's gonna be early afternoon, clear weather, no time progression, and collisions are turned off today. Also, I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna whip out the driver, uh, excuses already. I hurt my finger the other day, so, uh, it's my pinky. So if I don't win, it's because of my pinky. Subaru 22B on pole. I'm starting sixth. AMR blackout in fourth. And our PLP 50. Starting third position, boys. All right. Good luck, everybody. 10-mile circuit is up ahead. Hope you built a good car. Oh, the 22Bs are slow. The Peel is leading the race. Are you kidding me? The PLP 50. Oh, the Escort is absolutely ripping it. I wanted to play it safe through the corners. You gotta watch out, boys. There are definitely parts of this course where you can get away with going flat. It's all just a risk, though. You gotta weigh every single corner you take and keep it all in mind. There goes the Escort. That is exactly what I'm talking about. And that is his race already over. Man, I am so surprised that the PLP 50 is doing as well as he is. The Peel is in second place right now. Are you kidding me? That is ridiculous. I tried to overextend there. Try to make up for some lost ground. I run wide. 4GT from AMR Blackout currently in the lead. Followed up by... The PLP 50, a 4 GT40, the Lotus, and then myself. As I gain on the Lotus, we move up to fourth. There we go. Thank you very much. If I could get on the podium, that would be super good. Two races in a row. Oh, I am nervous with this. Oh, my car does not feel as planted as I was hoping it would. And the Peel has lost control, and he's gone. We're up to third. It is now GT40, first through third. Oh, I want to get second place. I cannot even see AMR Blackout, the Lotus, so quick through the corners. I think he's going to pull. You might recognize this area from the drift zone. A lot of people usually run wide through there. You got to watch out. Oh, my car is definitely not as smooth as I was hoping it would be. These guys are getting braver with their cars. They're not breaking for the corners. Very nice. Remember, though, at any point, anything can happen, especially in the streets of Edinburgh. You gotta watch out. These roads are narrow. There are fences all along the side. I move up to second. AMR Blackout must have taken a corner hot and nearly missed a checkpoint because we are closing in real hard i missed my breaking point by a by a few meters there ran deep oh man this is where we're gonna see some of the other slower racers as well keep in mind collisions are turned off so you won't need to worry about anybody crashing into you it's just cool to see the other cars coming head on oh my god these gt40s are so fast 
They are so evenly paced. They are just one, two, three right now. The Lotus has dropped off a little bit. Let's go for GT. I'm bearing down on first position, putting pressure on Blackout. Let's go. Ripping it. There are some more of the racers. I don't know who's in last place, but we nearly saw them there. Putting more pressure on Blackout. Ripping it through the streets. Any moment, anything can go wrong. This is so scary. Oh, I gotta watch out for my gears too. I'm in the wrong gear a lot. My gears are a little weird. We pulled away a little bit from the other four GT. I don't need to break for those. I'm you gotta try to play it safe, but at the same time, you gotta go. Man! Uh, the PLP 50 has dropped down to 10th place, by the way, lads. He's uh he's had quite the rough race. Oh, we get a little squirrely through there. We nearly lost the entire car. Oh, you gotta watch out for those staircases too in Edinburgh. Can we turn up the heat on Blackout a little bit more? There is 25% left to go, but this is where the course gets sketchy through the off-road section. I'm telling you, slow down. When you go through here, I'm gonna go real slow. I don't wanna miss a checkpoint. This is the checkpoint that caught me off guard in my practice runs. AMR Blackout has nailed it. There's also a tree that you can smash into. Down through here, cut it through the little back alley. Blackout has nailed it through the off-road section. He's actually pulled away four seconds now. He's in front. Damn, this man is quick. 4.2 seconds to Blackout. I can't see the guy behind. I've only got to worry about Blackout. There's a couple more corners to go, 4.6. That man continues to pull away from me. 4.8, I got on the brakes too early, didn't mean to do that. Oh, and then I'm late on the brakes there. I made that checkpoint super wide to allow for some room for error. Six seconds behind Blackout. This man is fast. Well, I'm not gonna be able to get the dub this week. AMR Blackout is gonna be your race winner. He is gonna be moving on. To race number seven, he is, he was your fan favorite going in. Uh, you've definitely seen his name going around if you played some Horizon 4 before. He is hella, hella quick. Look at those four GT40s being absolutely dominant, except for the one that finished 10th position. Our PLP 50 friend down in ninth. It was a, it was a good effort, but... Just a little too slow at the end of the day. Dia, Tomic, Cow, and Lenny are also going to be getting some nice little prizes. They're getting some AR-12 socks for coming second and third in today's race. Well played, lads. That was some intense racing. Some guys like, it's okay, Fire. We still love you. <laughs> Everybody loves the peel, even though it comes 10. Very well played, sir. You are moving on to race number seven. Huge congratulations for a chance to win that Xbox One X and the Elgato 4K60 Pro. Fantastic job, buddy.